So with the US Open starting in a few days time, there are some players that have some massive points to defend at this US Open and some serious rankings ramifications if they don't defend those points. One of those players is Novak Djokovic, we'll talk about him in a second, but let's go have a look at the players that have the most to gain and the most to lose at this year's US Open. All right, let's talk about the players that have the most to lose on the women's side, starting with Madison Keys. Made the semifinals here last year, has 780 points to defend. Mukova, another one who has a lot of points to defend, 780 from the semifinals of last year as well. Last year's finalist, Sabalenka, 1,300 points. It makes up about 15% of her ranking, so she is battling for that top four spot. But even if she doesn't have a great US Open, she should still stay at least in the top five. And Coco Goff, 30% of her points are at this US Open, and it's 2,000 points, of course, for winning this US Open or winning a Grand Slam in general. So a lot of points there. She is in jeopardy of dropping out of the top five if she doesn't defend this title if she has a really bad tournament this time around. Players that have the most to gain, and all of them are top 10 players, starting with Paulini. Lost first round last year, so has nothing to defend really in her ranking, and she's already gone from two Grand Slam finals coming into this, so her ranking is already solid. Krajikova, another one, the Wimbledon champion, has nothing to defend after losing the first round last year, so again, she could solidify her spot in the top 10 over the next couple of weeks. Maria Sakri, we all know how poor her Grand Slam results are, and again, this time last year, she lost in the first round, so she also could could add ranking points if she does have a good run here. And Rabakina only made the third round here last year. 130 points and is trying to get back into that top three. And with players like Sabalenka and Goff with so much to defend, she does have a good chance if she does make a good run here. On the men's side of things, most to lose, Ben Shelton. He's outside the top 10 at the moment, has 11% of his points overall in this tournament. 720 points in total. Carlos Alcaraz, he's number three in the world currently, has 10% of his points at this event. 720 as well from the semifinals last year. Daniel Medvedev, 1,200 points points from last year. That makes up about 20% of his ranking points. So if Medvedev was to have a first round upset, he could drop down to the bottom half of the top 10. So he has a lot to play for. And Novak Djokovic, he won it last year, 2,000 points on the line. That makes about 25% of his points in total, but he's battling it out with Alcaraz and Zverev for the number two spot. So he does have pressure from those guys to perform well here. And if they do well and he does well, he still might drop down the rankings. Plays with the most to gain this week, Musetti. He's had a couple of good tournaments at the French Open, Wimbledon, and also at the Olympics. He only made the first round last year, so he could really solidify his top 20 spot. Hubi Hercatch, round two last year, 45 points on the line. So if his knee's okay and he's healthy enough, he could really make a good run here and keep his spot in that top 10. Stefano Tsitsipas, he is outside the top 10, but with a good run here, could really get into that top 10. Never really done well here at the US Open as much as he's done well in Australia, for example. And Holger Runa also didn't do well here last year, lost in the first round. So if he does make a run here, he could also push back towards that top 10 like Tsitsipas. So there it is. That's the most to gain and most to lose. Djokovic is the interesting one for me. I think watching him and where his ranking falls, because even if he does defend the title, it might not be enough because Alcaraz and Zverev might make it to the semifinals and finals and he might still lose that number two spot. So it's really out of his hands, Djokovic, which is really interesting. He's got to defend and he's also got to hope the other guys don't play well, I guess. But Yannick Sinner and Igor Fiontek should be number one by the end of the tournament. No matter what happens, they could lose first round and they should still stay number one because the players behind them did so well last year and they themselves didn't do as well as the players behind them. They both made the fourth round. So they have a lot of upside as well if they do well this week. So that's what's at the rankings. That's what's on the line for this week. And Novak Djokovic, Coco Goff have the most to defend.